In this video tutorial, we will cover the differences between live capture coding and post capture coding. When you live capture code, you are coding what is being displayed in your capture window. When you post capture code, you are coding what is being displayed in your movie window. To show live capture coding, I'll go ahead and start a capture. Capturing is covered in detail in another video. Remember to live capture code, I need our code window to be in capture mode. When I'm live capture coding, the running clock in the capture window that shows how long we've been capturing will correspond to the point in the timeline where our instances will appear when we code. So when I activate this offense button, the instance will start at this time. And when I deactivate it, the instance is going to end at this time. You see the instance has appeared in the timeline at the corresponding time. Now, to demonstrate post-capture coding, I'll stop this capture. The timeline will update and the movie window will appear. And now we can code post-capture. And we will now be coding what is happening in this movie window. The playhead in the timeline now denotes at what point in the movie we will be coding. Remember that to code post-capture, our code window needs to be in code mode. If I go ahead and activate this button, the instance will start here where the playhead is. So I'll activate it and play the video for a bit. Now when I deactivate the button, the instance will end where the playhead is. And the instance appears in the timeline. 